How the West Was Fun is the last of the Olsen films that I had to see. I've been watching Olsen films for 20 years, so it's taken me a long time to get around to finding this. And I definitely saved one of the cutest till the end. It's slightly unrealistic, but it's very fun. This was released in 1994, when the twins were eight. And it's directed by Stuart Margolin and written by Jurgen Wolf and stars, of course, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen as Susie and Jessica Martin, respectively. Martin Mull is also in this, which makes me ridiculously excited um, because I think he's amazing. And obviously the title is based on how the West was won. It's not really very similar in narrative, but it is set in the West. So Susie and Jessica live with their father, who is a widow. And he receives a letter saying that the farm on which his wife, the girl's mother, grew up on is under serious threat. So they go to this farm, uh, Stephen and his two daughters, and the girls spend a lot of time there. And the girls, being inquisitive and curious, discover that Bart, played by Martin Mull, has alternative plans for this little ranch that could destroy everything that it was and could be. And the girls take it upon themselves to investigate it and find out more and, you know, frame him and make people realise what he's trying to do. Maybe frame him wasn't the right word there, but certainly to show him up. While they're doing that, they also discover some things about their mother and the time she spent there. And there's that strong emotional connection that they have, so it gives it a bit more meaning than just two young girls unrealistically trying to um, ruin the plans of Bart. Honestly, it's so sweet. As I said, a lot of the narrative development is quite unrealistic and not very believable, and people really need to keep more of a close eye on the twins, because in so many of their films, they're always wandering off and getting into mischief and riding horses to places that, you know, how could, I can't explain it without ruining it, but there's a scene where they ride horses to a, lo a specific location and it makes absolutely no sense that that would have happened without anybody stopping them and being concerned. Adorably, Elizabeth Olsen is in this as well, she's their younger sister if you don't know, and she's in it for about three seconds, um, blink and you'll miss her kind of, but she's absolutely adorable in it and I just like that little cameo, I guess. Um, it's a lovely film. It's very sweet. It's quite funny. The girls give a fantastic performance. I love the fact that it's set on a ranch because I really like westerns. And honestly, I can't fault it. As I said, it's unrealistic. You do need to suspend disbelief, but it's great fun. One of their best younger performances, but I feel like all of the performances they gave when they were that age were just brilliant because they have the best facial expressions and they're absolutely sensational and they have the best costumes. If you haven't seen it and you love the Olsons, give it a watch. If you don't like the Olsons or you're not that bothered about the Olsons and you're not the target age, then you're probably not going to get much out of it, I will be honest. But if you do love the Olsons or you feel nostalgia, I think it's one you'll really like. I was two years old when it was released. I was 28 when I watched it. Definitely for me, it was completely worth the wait. <laughs> 